Now the rationale for this is that preeclampsia uh, is it's a, a systemic disease, but it also, the placenta plays a major role in it. Placenta is very difficult to access for imaging, for obvious reasons, but it bears some uh, anatomic similarity to the choroid, which is the part of the eye that uh, is a vascular layer underneath the retina, and that actually provides much of its uh, oxygen and nutrients. For this reason, we thought, or I should say Dr. Biarelli and Dr. Wapner thought, that it would be very interesting if we could characterize what's going on in the choroid in patients who have had or, uh, preeclampsia or versus controls. So that, <clears throat> so that was the uh, basic structure of the study. We looked at women with, within uh, 72 hours of childbirth, some of whom had preeclampsia and some of whom were just normal controls. We use a special ultrasound technique that we've been developing ourselves uh, in my laboratory. And this is called uh, ultrafast plane wave imaging. So this is somewhat different from the standard ultrasound in that uh, it provides extremely high rates of imaging of many thousands of images per second. And it also produces less uh, ultrasound intensity, which makes it safe for the eye. And this is always a concern. So we are imaging many thousands of images per second. We do the exam. Um, usually the patient is in a wheelchair that they are just uh, transported from the uh, um, OBGYN facility to uh, the ophthalmology department. And we just scan them while they're sitting there. The eye is closed. We put the probe on the eyelid with just a little bit of gel. And we take images of the uh, optic nerve head and of the choroid itself uh, at, in a plane just north or superior to the optic nerve head.